What's up guys, it's your boys of Wokey back at it with another video and I've been super excited about this one for quite a while because one, I wanted to buy this, two, it just went on sale, and three, I finally have it. We're going to be taking a look at uh, Marvel Legends Stormbreaker. I'm super excited about this, I'm lost for words. We're going to be finally opening up, unboxing it, seeing my first impression of holding and wielding the Stormbreaker. It's not the real one, but obviously, but we're going to be taking a look at it unboxing it and see if you guys should be getting this one as well i do have the gauntlets i have the captain america shield i have helmets marvel legends definitely does outdo themselves and exact or i will be getting millionaire here soon i don't know why i didn't, haven't got millionaire but we're here for stormbreaker so guys grab a chair grab some popcorn as we take a look at stormbreaker and how you need to get one for your game room or your collection roll the intro If you guys are new to my Zwoki channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting the red bar icon down at the bottom. Turn on notifications as well by hitting the bell icon. So when I do post a video like this one, you'll get that little ring notification as Zwoki's post the video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. You guys are killing with the subs, the likes, the comments, the everything. And there's 85% of you that are watching my videos, which thank you so much, but are not subscribed. So make sure you guys subscribe down below. It definitely helps out my channel grow to its hundred thousand or Yes, 100,000 subscriber goal, and I can't thank you guys enough. So with that being said, we're here for one thing, and that is Stormbreaker. I finally got this one. It actually has been on sale on Amazon for a few weeks now, but Am or GameStop was doing a tax, a tax relief discount, and this sucker was 35% off. It still is as we speak, so make sure I got the one. There was two available online, but hopefully there will be another one for you guys to take a look. I'll post the links down below for Amazon, um, Target, GameStop, places that you guys can buy this Stormbreaker as well. Hopefully you guys will get it for a decent cost. Normally when it first came out, it was going to be $159.99, which I thought it was a little too high at the moment, but I wanted to wait to see if it went down. And of course, it went down. I'm super excited because I got it for $121 because of the discount. Also, I, have, I've, I had coupons. So with that being said, let's unbox it. I'm super excited. So with that being said, it is a one-to-one -one scale of the actual real um, Stormbreaker in the movies. It does light up. It does make sound. I don't really care about that as much as I just want to be able to hold it. I've looked at online um, on eBay, on Amazon, just to see if they had any like other... Because I do have... Back here, I, ha I have Thanos' double-bladed sword. You guys haven't seen that video, which I'll post down in the description. But I have his double-bladed sword from the movie. That one was on Amazon. I have that one, but it's a foam replica, where this one is not. This one is actually plastic. Completely pla plastic. I know you guys can't see me, but... This box is a lot bigger than you think. I'm trying to do this a little bit easier, nice and easy, so I don't break the box because I keep my boxes just in case if I ever get rid of the item or holy crap, this thing is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. There we go. All righty, all righty, all righty. So in the box itself, obviously you guys will see when you guys get yours, if you guys do buy it, which I was never, I wouldn't say a big diehard fan of Thor. I loved Thor. Um, I wasn't diehard like I am Iron Man or Captain America, but I'm going to need a, holy cow, scissors. You can smell that new plastic smell <laughs> as a nerd loves to smell. Um, so obviously you guys get in the container, you guys get your pamphlet of saying how epically awesome it is. Don't need that. Um, <laughs> obviously it tells you about probably batteries, all that stuff, you don't need that. Um, and then it has, oh my gosh, it's got screws. We have screws here, hopefully I have a screwdriver. 
Nope, I have a screwdriver. I have a screwdriver, but not a Phillips screwdriver. Hopefully, we'll get that here in a, in a little bit. Hopefully, it can work. Yes. Okay, so, oop, okay, there we go. I just don't know where to start, bro. Okay, we're gonna have to cut the box. Sorry, our box. Cutting for time here. Oh, and I didn't want to edit, edit this video completely where you guys don't see me unboxing it entirely. I want you guys to get the full experience of me opening this dang thing. This thing is thick. <laughs> so this thing right here, which is obviously the stick, the rod that it holds in. This thing is definitely built solid. Holy crap. It does it doesn't feel cheap, that's for dang sure. So we'll put that there. <laughs> that's all good. Okay. So it's in here with zip ties. Hopefully I don't cut myself. If you are buying this and you need assistance, make sure you guys tell your um your uh, loved ones, hold on. I got the next best thing. So I don't cut myself. Make sure that you guys don't run with scissors or cut yourself with knives. Make sure you get an adult to open this up for you as well. So, storm. I love it. I love when that guy says it. Okay, so we're gonna put that down. <sighs> okay. I don't need that crap, I don't need that crap. <laughs> I save my boxes just in case I never need to put pack it up or anything like that, or if I ever sell it. For some reason, this thing is heavy. For some reason, it's got this little plastic piece on the back. Taking that dang thing off. Put it in there. Hopefully I don't need batteries. Maybe it needs to be plugged in. <laughs> okay, so. Plug in. Oh. I see the screws. Like a glove. Oh. But apparently the tree on the top part comes off. I don't know why. We'll see that in a second. Maybe it's because that's where the batteries is. So I'm looking at it. It's got a place for the screws. I'm gonna have to take a look at the instructions. <laughs> Okay, hold that thought <laughs> here. All right, so I had to skip a little bit because this took a little bit more time. To skip. Good poop out of me. Okay, <laughs> that was the first time I did it. Okay, so the screws go in here, down here, obviously in the directions that it gives. Those So apparently it doesn't go off. That's cool. Okay, so. You need to get three AA batteries because it doesn't come with any batteries. Apparently it's very touch sensitive. It does not have an off switch. And this piece right here I thought I hit that okay so this piece here goes on like so 
Kind of a little complicated. There you go. So you just gotta kind of wiggle it up in there. That's what she said. And my hair is all getting wonky here. <laughs> Take two. Okay. So after it's all said and done, this holy crap is Stormbreaker. <laughs> I am lost for words. It lights up and obviously makes noises. Here we go. So it makes noises. So the reason why I wanted to get this one in the worst way, obviously, if you guys haven't seen, when he sits there and goes, I like this one. Or, And it does it through all of it. Alexa, turn lights off. So if we turn off the lights. You can see it mostly in the butt stuff or the butt part, but not in this spot. So you can see that. So there's a button down here on the handle, but it is solid, like. So the reason why I bought this one to begin with, one is I like the whole story behind Stormbreaker and stuff like that, but when he came in the, in the movie just like this, I literally lost it. I, everybody was cheering for Thor. Everybody was so excited about it. Seeing Stormbreaker come out of the Bifrost. I was so excited. And then when he did this, I was even more, more been, or fascinated. He's wielding Mjolnir and Stormbreaker. And then he shoots it into Tony Stark's Mark 85 back. Or when he does this, he says, let's finish him properly this time. He grabs the, the, oh my gosh, this is why I wanted to get Stormbreaker so bad. And then when I finally found out that uh, Marvel Legends was doing one, I had to get it. So, that being said, I think, guys, this is a must-have to add to your collection. If you love Marvel, if you guys love um, Thor, um, it's got these little protective pieces on the bottom. I didn't see these until now. Protect, protect the top. But it's definitely not a toy. It's more of a cosplay, role play. Why he does that? Got some, got some noises to it. But with that being said, if you guys are able to afford this and you guys are able, it's definitely, <laughs> it's a lot. I'm gonna have to put like, right here for a little bit i don't even know where i'm gonna hang it i'm gonna probably hang it on the wall but with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys will buy one yourself if you guys do take if you guys do buy it or you guys have it already make sure you guys send me a picture on my instagram twitter or facebook i would definitely like to hear you guys or see you guys not here like this thing it keeps going off but with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys buy one yourself as well um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep nerding on. We'll see you guys next time, or as Thor says, bring me Thanos!